Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover and thank you for joining me here in Hearts of Iron for using the No Step Back DLC in which we're playing as everyone's favorite Polish nation, Poland! In which right now we're assembling the Regency Council. The act of the 5th of November was a promise made by the Central Powers to re release a free and independent Polish kingdom out of the ashes of the Russian Empire. The resulting Regency failed to find a monarch before surrendering all powers to Pilsudski, but with the Senationists unable to form a stable government, perhaps it's time we re-establish the Regency to find Poland her rightful king, but fail the 5th of November act. With the Regency Council reassembled, it's time to open the doors to all, any and all royal applicants seeking to claim the Polish throne. And eventually we might do the seeking alliance with the Kaiser, but we'll see what happens. Now I've done the Hapsburg route actually before, but this time, as you can tell, we're going to go down the Hohenzollern route to see what will happen with that campaign. Actually, do we want to start that immediately? Mikhail II becomes a leader for the non-aligned party, uh, claims Romania. The elite support for unaligned would probably be really good to get grabbed first, just because we do need to go with a four-year plan eventually to get rid of the potential peasant strike. But... We've got some time. The Hohenzollern. <clears throat> the Germans envisioned the Hohenzollern to rule the new kingdom of Poland. And a close diplomatic ties to Romania makes the Romanian royal family the ideal candidate to be Poland's king. Now, there's actually five options here that we can choose. We have, obviously, Habsburgs, Hohenzollerns, the Commonwealth Claimant, the Casa King, as well as Anastasia, but we'll get Anastasia later on. And I did set this to ahistorical, so it's kind of random as to who's going to do what and play as what, so we'll see. Also, we do need to kill Danzig pretty harshly, but... Uh, we'll get there eventually. The four-year plan. We must plan for the expansion of our infrastructure to accommodate not only our present industry, but also the future. Good for Turkey. Oh, no, what happened to our leader? Oh, well, he's gone now. Yeah, I would like to have Romania with us. The kingdom of Poland Romania sounds very nice. And we do have 30, 40 divisions. Not bad. We can't send volunteers, though. We need more world tension. And we're not allowed to send volunteers. God dang it. I hate that rule so much. But since we're going to go down with that... One route. Ooh, we just got rid of him, so. A new king in the castle. Uh, fascism. Who else? Can we? Resistance artists. That sounds like a lot of fun. Legitimacy gain. Ooh, wow. Weekly exile government manpower. Democratic reformist. Socialist. Right industrialist. That's not bad. Patriotic socialist. We have uh, leftist legionary. Ooh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, let's get some more research speed, too. And we currently get one political power every single day, and then follow it with the railway gaps. Ooh, that'd be really good to get, but Friedrich Christian claims the throne. If you like to read about this one, please go right ahead, which is the Habsburg route. No, we have another in mind. So to get this one, we need it requires fill the railway gaps. Um, let's do the Polish School of Mathematics first, though, because that's really helpful. Mathematics is central to almost all things in the technological sector. All across Poland, from Lviv to Warsaw, the mathematical schools are flourishing. We must capitalize on the golden age of Polish thinkers and grant these men all that they need to make Poland the technological powerhouse it deserves to be. Absolutely. We have a four-year plan, which is really nice, and a looming peasant strike, like we said, but whatever. Oh, it's a gentleman. Oh, Phalangus Militaris, which we will grab sometime eventually, too. Code Breaker's not bad. Noble Beer Cat. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, we definitely want to get that person. Matter this one. So, second London Naval Treaty sign. Very, very good. Wait for this guy, and then we'll immediately do the restoration of Royal Sejim, maybe? Maybe eventually. Maybe immediately. We'll see. We do need the daily underlined support, so... But yeah, get some more political power first, be nice. Joseph Beck, smooth talking charmer, huh? Very nice. And also, the mods we're using, finally, are Player of the Peace Conferences, as well as the Colored Buttons, I think, updated mod, which is a mod I used to use a whole bunch when I first uh, had my Hope 4 channel, but then it fell out of, you know, disrepair. But, uh, still. Oh, the Habsburg candidate. A royal, a Habsburg, a, a Polish compatriot. Uh, Karl Abish von Habsburg has been in service of the Polish military since almost as long as an organization has been in existence. Though his bloodline is not native to his soil, his willingness to fight and die for Poland makes him an ideal candidate for the throne. Uh, though it seems that the Archduke has a little ambition for rulership, perhaps he may be persuaded to serve Poland, not in arms, but in leadership. Oops. Oh, this was the King Friedrich one. My bad. This is the Friedrich one we rejected earlier. Uh, this one is the Habsburg one, so we desire another. So, my bad. The first one we got was the Commonwealth Claimant. So, my bad. My bad. Ooh, that's actually an extra daily compliance gain. We get Michael, which gives us nothing, so. My bad. There you go. Have some of that, too. Polish School of Mathematicals. Math, math, math stuff. And then, fill the railway gaps. Poles are once divided between three powers, and as such, our rail networks are distant and unconnected. We must unite these three separate railways into one. If we're to make Poland the centralized industry we need it to become. More railways? Yes, please. Happy June, everybody. Happy, happy June. The Spanish... Probably going to end up with a civil war. Um, I'll be honest. Is there a way to stop the Spanish Civil War from firing? I want to say there is, but I don't know. 
Yeah, I get the extra political power. 1.34 is not terrible. Uh, Aristocrat, smooth talking charmer, not bad. Cool. And getting that extra research slot is going to be so much better for us. Thank you. Finally, four research slots. Crown Prince Michael of Romania. The Hohenzollern claim to Poland dates as far back as the existence of the Kurdish Polish state. Now the Polish Romanian relations become increasingly vital to the survival of both states. It makes sense to offer our throne to the former king and heir of Romania, Michael I. Deposed in 1930, in favor of his own father, Michael I presents an opportunity for a potential union of the Polish and Romanian thrones. With the influence of the fascist Iron Guard building in Romania, we may be able to weaponize anti fascist sentiments as a means to dispose King Carl, or Carol, once again replace him with Michael's king. Such a feat would create an inseparable union between our nations, and a combined will would be a powerful force for our enemies in the Soviet Union and the German Empire to contend with. A splendid idea. The Kingdom of Poland crowns a king. Oh, so we get that one done immediately, which is actually really nice. Um, yeah, restoration of the Royal Shem, and then we'll do the Gearing Reform. In the old days of the Polish Kingdom, the Shem were loyal servants of the public and the crown. With the restoration of this Shem, which I'm, I know I'm saying wrong, and the destruction of the Second Republic, we must ensure that all Sejmeks are loyal to the crown and will not seek to return Poland to sanation rule. Daily support on the line, more stability is always very nice. And there it goes, Spain, killing itself, yay. Trucks! Oh yeah, we gotta motorize these guys. Yeah, that's true, I forgot about that. We need a lot of guns. We're trying to make six infantry divisions here, but it's definitely going okay. Yeah, those, oh my gosh, that's so bad. That's so bad. Don't even bother with that stuff. Who do we have over here? Old guard, command power increase. Well, if we get more political power, I wouldn't mind this one if we lose naval experience gain for more political power, but it's not political power. It's maximum command power increase, so. Well, I usually say that Spain usually looks like when it begins, does really, really well, but the nationals, oh, in, in the end, almost always win. It's a bit ridiculous. He seems kind of chunky. Milti Junta, not bad. We're going to railway systems, not bad. Commandeer civilian trains. I mean, we could, but we already have 18 trains in reserve, so. We're making, we're doing quite well on artillery. And it's so nice having colored funds again. So nice. Cool. Uh, a couple more days left. And then we'll clamp down on Danzig. I definitely want to get Danzig with us. It's going to be a pain in the butt keeping that thing, but, yeah. But we need time just to focus only on Danzig, but we'll get there eventually. I'm not sure when, but happy September, everybody. Who's after that? Can you get any more uh, political power? I love political power way too much. Stability is very nice too. Uh, no war industrialists. I wish they would just hide these people. If you're going down a certain route, I wish I could just hide some of these ministers. I don't want to see all these ministers, man. But in the meantime, ooh, Sanatius. Ooh, that would have been really good to get, but whatever. Who can we choose here? Army defense, 0 0.09. 0 0.06, 0 0.09, 0 0.09. Well, we got to start working on this anyway, so get us some uh, air, army XP. And then we'll go to partial mobilization next as well. That'll be good. Uh, seek internal Romanian support. Let's do unlock our claims in Romania first. That'll be good. Wait, can we do this one? No, we need to have the Cossack one too. Oh! Auto suits on Garen Crown. Well, I just set it to random, so. Seek internal Romanian support, and then we'll do the Garen Reform. The Kingdom of Romania, or the King of Romania, is driving the country to the brink of destruction with its overspending and corruption. It's unfortunate, but King Michael may have no choice but to collaborate with his father's detractors to secure Romania's continued survival. It was a Reich. Um, I hope we can get Romania with us, because there's an option down here. Whether we sh can or should, well, technically, institute a world dictatorship, demand Slovakia, as well as restore Poland Hungary. So, we claim the Hungarian throne. If they agree, they'll join a personal union with us. So, that sounds like a lot of fun. Or we could go to the point of pro allied government, hopefully the allied state allied, and join the allies. So let me know in the comments below. Should we institute a royal dictatorship in the kingdom of Poland, Romania, and maybe get hungry with us? Or should we appoint a pro allied government? Let me know in the comments below. Allies or by ourselves? Let me know in the comments below. I still have royal guards, that one can wait. Arm, monarchists, militants. Uh, it's not bad. So 36, of course. Not bad, bad, bad. Yeah. Cool. And then let's just get rid of this thing just because I don't want to deal with this later on. A peasant strike is on the horizon. All across the country, fruit prices are skyrocketing, and both are disjointed industry and the government's lack of action to aid Poland's poorest cause great unrest in the peasantry. With sufficient investment and reform, however, we should be able to become more than capable of meeting the peasants' demands. Be delayed by seven days when this focus is selected, and remove the looming peasant strike. Just do one focus, and you'll be golden. Also, oh wait, never mind. Ooh. Oh, we're going to have that anyways. Whoa. I should have done that one earlier. Okay, so we need to do that one a little bit earlier, which is fine. 
Uh, I'll do that one off screen right now. Cracked down on the vote. Oh, actually, at least five divisions. That's 100 political power, though. I don't want to do that. I think I'd rather go off screen and uh, fix that one up uh, right now. And here we have it, everybody. No more looming peasant strike. Of course not. We put those peasants down quite easily. But I'm the monarchist militants. We know there are those across our borders who just see Michael I bring order and prosperity to their nation as he has for us. We must be willing to arm these monarchist militants so that they may fight to bring their rightful monarch to the throne. Absolutely. And now we need the coup, but we need at least 80 monarchist supports. So we got to wait a little bit. We can establish royal guard, which wouldn't be a bad thing to do, actually. But we're going to go ahead and clamp down on Danzig, because we've already done all this stuff over here. I mean, doing this stuff would be very, very, very beneficial for us, but I want Danzig. Officially, Danzig is a free city under Polish protection, but as of late, the city's fallen into Nazi control and is a puppet of Adolf Hitler in all but name. <clears throat> this blemish on our northern border is nothing but an obstruction to the Polish trade, and we must reassert control over the city, or risk crumbling to the Germans. So right now, we can prop propagandize monarchist sentiment. Oh, Austria denies referendum. Okay. And on the monarchist militants, which you don't have enough stuff here anyways, but whatever. Yeah, we need more guns. We need a lot more guns. Holy crap. We could just do that. Or continue spending PP. Hmm. You get 15 more monarchist support. We need at least 80 support. So as long as we get up to 50, anti gorga Tarascu propaganda. And best in Romania. Radio, thank you. And it is, of course, 1937. Let's get some more Alpa because we could use more guns. Holy crap. So, ah, trucks, yes. Trucks, yes. Yes. Yes to the trucks. Say yes to the truck, my friends. All right. And there you go. Once we get, of course, another truck. We'll see what happens. Clap down on Danzig and ban the Nazi party. Can we do that one yet? No. We need must, must have more than 80% compliance and less than 50% resistance. So that's going to take some time. That's going to suck. Uh, let's track poles here. It's not bad either. Two day of dockyard would be very nice. Remember the next war? Establish royal guards. I kind of want to do that one, but we don't have to do that one. Uh, National defense uh, fund. That probably. Ooh, actually, we need guns now, don't we? And that's one first. Citizens and state alike must contribute to the funding of a growing industry to prepare for the perils of the years to come. We seize Danzig. Yay! Uh, propose monarchist sentiment. Yes. Oh, the free city of Danzig. Military appeasement. Less resistance growth. Nice. Command power, okay. Raid Nazi resistance. Lose resistance, get more compliance. That's not bad. Daily command power gain. Honestly, either one is pretty good. Daily com compliance is very good. I don't mind spending the command power first, though. Uh, there we go. Now we got something here. That's nice. This stuff all kind of sucks. Well, we can make some... Dis you know, honestly, it'd be at least some manpower. We'll do it anyways, though. Oh, and resistance is going to be very high. Oh, well, you know, not much we can really do about it right now. All right. And we got that stuff done. Can we get some more cap? We're working on the cap, which is very, very good. At this point, we could get some tanks. Honestly, we want tanks. We might go heavy tanks. Uh, we don't think... I don't think we have the capabilities for it. You know, let's go heavy. We could try heavy tanks. I've never tried them. I don't know how far we're going to get actually using tanks, but we'll see. Nice. Not bad. And we're making some trucks as well, which is very good. And arm um, them, unification propaganda. How bad is this go working right now? So it's going up by 0.34. Jesus Christ. Is it going up at all? No. Oh, yeah, it is going up just a little bit. Barely, but it's going up a little bit. I don't want to spend all that PP. Oh, Titan controls. Okay. Less resistance. Oh, and that does help us out quite a bit more. More daily compliance. Um, or just say screw it and get way more daily compliance. Um... Yeah, that's not first. That was a little better. The other two. We need to get much more monarchist claims here, too. Not bad. Sway Romanian generals. Oh, yes, please. That's why we need all this political power. That's why I got this guy earlier. Um, for more political power, which would be very, very good. National Defense Fund after that one. Hopefully we can do that stuff. And we got to get 80... Oh, it's going to take a little bit of time here. If that's the case, prepare for the next war would be pretty decent. But well, we need to put more Polish industry. More infantry equipment. Oh, about four or three civvies. Building slots. Bonus for industry. It's going to be 38, so we don't really need a bonus or blueprint for industry next, because that's the next one is in 39. But the East is a barren and desolate place, neglected entirely by both the Russians and the Polish state. This is a, there's a plethora of ideal locations for factories, and plenty of men with which to work them, should we choose to invest such things. But we still want to ban the Nazi party, too. So, we need more compliance, all that good stuff, you know. Oh, what do we have here? Sway Romanian generals, that's not bad. Why not? 
you want to do that one too. It costs us stuff, but it's fine, whatever. And now we're at 33%. It's still, it's going down now. Oh, China's killing itself. Oh god, that's... Oh, also Japan. Oh, actually, it's not too bad for them. Just because China, or I guess I should at least say Japan, uh, had a civil war. And now they're communist? I don't know how communist you really are, Japan. We'll take your word for it, but I'm not thinking you're too communist. All right. Cool arenas. Central defense of Poland, up develop up Silesia. Honestly, for 35-day focus, central region strategy is really, really nice. By centralizing factories far from any borders, we'll boost their production while also protecting them from any would-be conquerors. Very nice. Uh, 10 more. 10, 50 for 10. Oh my gosh. I don't know spend command bar, but of course, military appeasement. How, how are we doing here? 50. Okay, it's not too bad. We do want to core it as fast as possible, though. Uh. Honestly, I'd rather do this one. Uh, do that one first. That's fine. So now we're at 61. That's pretty nice. And it's still going to keep going up, which is nice. And resistance. Ooh, actually, it's still going up. Oh, crap. That's not good. Oh. Oh, we should have tightened control. My bad. We should have tightened control. That, that was the one you have to do. You have to tighten control. My bad. Oh. It's, oh, boy. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, boy. Um... In the meantime, investing in Eastern Poland is very nice. Centralized stuff. We need more. We need more political power, man. Do that one too. Just do whatever it takes to unite us first. Actually, we're doing really well in industry. Not bad. Fifteen and one already. It's only October. Not bad. Hmm. Only missing nine thousand uh, guns. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. More austerity. Get some armored trains. That's very very nice too. So after this, we should have enough. Yeah. Ooh, 10 days. Can we wait any longer? 14 days? Yeah, we can wait. So instead of doing the whole Central Poland thingy, Central Region thingy, we'll go do King Michael's coup, as long as we can. A time has come for King Michael to usurp the current Romanian government and see himself crowned, as is his birthright. Once allies, Poland and Romania shall now be united as one. Hopefully. There we go. Nice, we got it. And I'll take control. That's going to be good. At least put a fire here. Nice. So now it's only going up by 0.24, which is good. And you're still going up at all? 0. 70? 0. 0.4? Oh, wow. 0. 0. 0.4? 0. 0.9? 0. 0.3? 0. 0.7? Oh, going up by 0.45-ish? Nice. Good stuff. That should be good enough. Um, Let's get our soldiers on the border, just in case. You never know. We only have logistics for them. Oh, my gosh. It's so bad. Oh god, how bad is it down here? Oh, that's really bad. Okay, never mind. Um, are you actually suffering from supply issues? You're not actually suffering from supply issues. Well, supply stats is going rapidly further and further down. Let's uh, take you guys over here then. You guys leave. And then, in 37... Four austerity trains. Logistics... Yeah, I'm going to go with that one first. So instead of doing that, I want you guys to come down here. You just take one army keep them down here. Uh, you both have only one. Not near, which is fine. Whatever. Yeah, spots are going to be really bad down here. <sighs> Why? Is it because of supplies? It's probably because of supplies. They pursue interventionist policies. Um... Well, that sucks. Go up there. King Michael's coup. After that one, merge the internal governments. It must be true. Claim Livonia. Establish royal guards. We'll wait for that one, too. Ban the Nazi party. We've got enough support among the populace of Gdansk that we may officially purge the city of Nazis and reclaim the city for the Polish state. Oh, you betcha. Get some armor, sons. Get some good old armor. How many guns are we out? Minus seven. Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty nice. That's good. Over here. And we can just go and purge them. So we probably don't need to do this anymore. We probably don't need to do this one either... Either, either, either. So that'd be nice. Here, just, just dismantle you guys. King Michael's cool arena, nice, nice, nice. Ban that goddamn Nazi party. All right, so you guys. Oh my gosh. So can we get ourselves involved? Unification. Probably don't need to do that one anymore. Um, I hope they win. 
So we'll see what happens. I hope we can intervene. That'd be very nice if we can intervene. But we're going to ban the party. Anything over there yet? Nope. And then what? Ooh. Embargoed economy. Oh, yeah. We got to go export focus. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That's a 70 focus, but this is 35 days. Oh, my gosh. For decades, Gdansk has been separate from the rest of the nation. Oh, look at that. Vellum the second returns. But no more. By integrating Gdansk into our administration, we will be able to reclaim control of our exports and imports. Can I help? What I help, man? Which one do we like? Royal household accounts. Yeah. Carol the second. We don't like him that much, do we? Well, how many divisions do they have? They have 28,000 manpower. They have a little bit more. 3 to 11. 8 to 47. Holy crap. They should be able to do it with that many divisions, right? As long as Lithuania isn't doing the same thing to us. Because they were doing the same thing to us whenever I played as uh, Poland before. Um, more army XP. Infantry. Go with infantry. Yeah. We need stuff. Oh, look at that. Nice. There you go. Uh, basically, take chances. Ooh, can we do anything here that's really good? Gasoline. More reliability. It's pretty slow. I don't want to get too slow. And cast armor. Wow, that's so much better. We're already trying to get basic armor protection. Welded armor. Honestly, I don't want to really do too much here. Uh, heavy armaments. 20 heavy cannons. We can do one. We'll do one. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Can we make that, actually? I mean, the armor's not very good. It's pretty slow. I mean, I guess if we really want to... Oh! Hey! Oh, they're, they're actually our puppet. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it's so nice. Ban the Nazi party, and then we'll come over and do merge of internal governments. Although Poland and Romania now are the same monarch at the head of the government, they still remain separated by their internal governments. We must offer Romanian uh, local representatives in the Shem and merge all of the Romanian administrations with their Polish equivalent. Oh, hello! The communists are destroying themselves. Oh, and they joined. Wow. Oh my god, this is disgusting. The SSS. Triple SR. Who's Vladislav's Babadzanyan? A deal broker, huh? This is disgusting. I get you wanting to separate him, this F the SSR in two, but. Oh my god. You go from all these snaking around to separate him and then go this way. Oh my goodness, that is disgusting. Oh, we're about to puke here. Oh no, 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 no. Not bueno, at least in my opinion. How did you get the Sudetenland before you got Austria? Uh -huh. But happy March, everybody. Hope you're having a great, great new year. Maurice or speech, thank you very much. Uh, we could probably go and be doing this as well. Boost up what we're making here, because... Oh, China's killing itself. Yay! Yay! That's fine. Armor transit will take less damage. Uh, go two here, because we're really going to need two. Let's be real, we're going to really need two. But hopefully we become a new country soon. That'd be awesome. What are the factions like? So we have the common turn. Honestly, can we support the SS? Triple SR? We could just fight war goals. Oh, God. We'll see what happens. Allies, of course. China is on... Are you still fighting Guangxi Clique? Oh, my gosh. Ah, gotta love F-38. Let's get some better gun stuff, because that's going to help us out immediately. Yes, please. Let's see what we do want to take out Lithuania, too, because they don't deserve peace and independence. So, just Polish things. So, after this, let's grab some more infantry stuff. Ooh, armor. I love these armor, but cavalry. Oh, it's only 5%, and it gives us more daily army XP. So, we'll see what happens. Defense fund is so nice. I love having national defense funds. I love the funds. Uh, do that one first, just because you're closer to getting that one done. And after this one, yeah, I'll let you guys decide which way we go overall. So, but we still have other stuff to do. Slovakia, we're still pulling hungry. Um, I might just take out Lithuania as well. Let's see, can we get, can we get a war with them? Can we, oh, yeah, yeah. Is that possible? Maybe we'll form the Commonwealth. We'll see. But after this one, we're gonna go ahead and grab. Oh, Greece are in the Allies. See, extensive military pact, huh? Uh, exerts. Wait, they're exerting influence. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this one. Yeah, because we want to get to export focus, at least to get more consumer goods and stuff like that. But let's take a look. Do we have. Well, that's a funky flag. Wow, what type of color are we? Holy smoke, daddies. Holy fathers, that smoke. Uh, what type of divisions did we get? 18 combo with... Hey, that's, not, that's actually better than our divisions, right? Oh, that absolutely is. Um, you guys can go here and do that. Very nice. 
And you guys are what? 12 combat width with engineers. I'll just convert you to R. Never mind. Okay. Um, there you go. And there you go. Uh, these guys are. Oh my god, 6 combat width. Well, it's definitely an army. But hey, reunited. Not bad. Hopefully, supplies aren't too bad up here, too. At least that's the hope. We hope for a lot. Hey, Rick Samilli's good, good, good. Actually, how are we doing guns? Oh, we got enough. We got we have more than enough guns too. Great. I don't like this flag though. I really don't like it. Sorry, I just don't like it. It does not sit well with me though. And if we can take out these guys, that'd be awesome too. Because they're not aligned. Where are you guys at? Not aligned. Okay, you're all not aligned. Okay, anti-German military. All right, not bad. So this one. Yeah, I'll let you guys decide whether point of pride, like government, institute rule, dictatorship. Ooh. Demand Slovakia would be really fun. We're sort of pulling hungry. We need a lot more manpower in the field, though. Join the Allies. We'll see. Seeking so alliance with the Kaiser. Ooh, should we do that one as well? You know, I do kind of want to do a between the seas concept. Because I haven't done that one yet. That'd be a lot of fun to do as well. So I'll let you guys decide. Which route should we take? Like, Allies, by ourselves, create our own faction, Demand Slovakia. Well, we're going to try to go ahead... or. Go with the Kaiser as well, so that's that's also an option. Because I haven't been down actually through this stuff before too, but yeah, we'll definitely do Central Region Strategy next because we we need them factories. Because factories are, as some might say, real bueno. Oh, just six months, nice. Uh, 38, 38, 38, 38. Fuel maybe, or get some tank stuff. Get some more tank stuff. Why not? Ooh, we have actually another. Oh wow, more subbies. We like it when they're chubby. There you go. Train until you die. Because look, look at all that naval XP. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. Can we get 1.39s? Not bad either. Ah, get down. Happy 1938, everybody. And how are we doing with this stuff? Keep making more. Oh, look at those red fighters. I want to prove to the world that we can take these guys out. Oh, we gotta wait so long though. Oh my gosh. Controls all Lithuanian states. Wait, so the Kingdom of Poland, Romania will be known as the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Oh, we get cores of even the Latvian states, huh? Which would be very good for us to do, but I don't want to become. Actually, hmm. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Royal Guards would not be bad either. Let's go and grab Central Defense Region Strategy. More millies are nice. We're going to need way more rubber. So let's grab a rubber from the French for now. Got another couple divisions. Very good. And naval doctrines. We'll go with trade interdiction. Let's see how far we can go with subby chubbies. That'd be nice. And just in case, do that too. Uh, is everyone on aggressive? Because if we're going to do general attacks, we go to be very aggressive. Nice. Let's see here. If we're working the conditions. Yeah, not too much else right there. If that's the case. We're going to go with Military Theorist? Or do we have anyone here that's unique? No, it's nothing unique. Oh, that sucks. Nothing unique. Well, for this, for Military Doctrine. What about reduced cost? Not bad. Ooh, actually. 18 combo with 8. Oh, we we're making that's right. Yeah, we're angered by Lithuanian posturing. You know what? Screw it. Get rid of you guys. These guys are pretty good. Throw one more on there. That's fine for now. There we go. That's what we want to see. We're going to need a lot more support equipment. Are we out of, oh, we're out of guns again. God dang it. Always out of guns. We're always out of guns. We need more support equipment than that, too. So, But we shall see. Come on, I just want to go to war. I just want to go to war. Actually, that's the case. Um, the other two. Nice. Uh, which one do we want next? Hmm. Yeah, that's in that stuff. We need more manpower in the field. Uh, new Polish industry. I would like to get this one because I heard that this is bugged. We might get that one. Maybe we'll see what happens. Military factories too, and a railway. I like railways. The new Polish industry. With the West now reclaimed from the Germans, we must develop the burgeoning industries in cities like Gdania, which are rapidly coming to rival Warsaw and Grandier. Of course, we continue doing that. Oh, oh, and the civil war is over. Oh boy. Anti-tank would not be bad either. We're doing well over here as well, so I'm not super worried about that stuff yet. 
War Austerity. We might grab some field hospitals. Poland's not known for having a ton of manpower. Yeah. Actually, go with the one that's cost the most time to do. That's fine. Because they always take forever for that stuff. So. Your Polish industry. After that one. I mean, I would love to do the ex city of Warsaw. Expand the University of Warsaw, I should say. It is where most of Poland's greatest minds attend to teach, learn, and broaden Poland's technological capabilities. By investing in an expansion of the university, we shall have seats for yet more minds and thinkers to strengthen the Polish state. Color buns are so nice. Alright, so what do we have here? Do we have garbage? Sort of. Sort of. Come over here, too. Everyone needs at least one thing of fighters. And we have some casts, which is actually really nice to have. There you go. Can we overwhelm them on the border? That is the question. Are they guaranteed by anybody? No! We should go in as soon as we possibly can, then. Can we win this war? By God, I hope we can. Oh! Before we begin. Ooh, grand battle plan. Uh, I mean, that's nice. Extensive planning and preparation makes a lot of sense for us. I always go down that route, but since we're already going, we might as well keep going that way, I guess. Can we immediately begin and win? They're not doing force defense. Oh, yeah, never mind. They are doing force defense. Or the last thing I should say. Oh, my God. They're just dropping like crazy. We've lost 64 versus 17,000. Not bad. Pretty decent. Ah, basic engines. Very nice. Very nice. I love engines. Well, we've only killed out 33,000 of them. Well, we have the 4th International. Roman's been wounded. And uh, we'll take everything you got. Thanks for not playing, guys. Thanks for playing. Sorry for your wounds, Roman. They really didn't get that many uh, army XP at that time. I'm thinking here. Ooh, Polish industry. Nice. Oh! Oh! Well, look at that stuff. It's been kept to this. Uh, do we need more aluminum? Oh, we need more steel, actually. That's not good. It's been crack out industries. That'd be nice to grab. Study British ship designs. Prepare for the next war. That's uh, honestly probably a good way to go, yeah. Uh, the Great War may have only been the first of its kind. We must prepare for what must surely be an ever-changing battlefield. War propaganda against Italy. Oh! Oh! France joined the Allies. Oh, that is peculiar. Oh, we have ships down here, too. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that really sucks. Well, then. Um... Cool. Well, at least we can kill off Republic of Latvia, too, hopefully. Latvia and pretensions. Because we can still do this one. Oh, any more compliance. It'll take so long to get more compliance up here. God dang it. Because since we're here anyways. You guys are just so bad. Um, honestly, I'm going to do this. Garrison. I think I spelled that right, right? We have no military police. Oh, it takes 20? Oh my goodness. I'll go with the garrisons ones for now, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we gotta research military police as well. So prepare for the next war. Plan east, plan west. Um, we're kinda. That's not good. We're kinda on both sides here. That's not good. Uh, that's, that's alright. Standardization of equipment. A lot of blueprints on that way. We own more than 50 factories. So let me know. Should I use console commands just to get this one done? Because it's. I think it's still bugged. Because we have. We have 90 factories. We have 90. We have literally 57 civvies. So, I feel like we should just get this one done on anyways, just because it doesn't make sense why we shouldn't or wouldn't. So, yeah. After that one, I think we'll probably do what? Invest in the old Polish region? Because one, two, three, four more factories. Railways would be very nice as well. So, ooh. Not fascist. That's not, that's not bad either. Cool. Should we do nationalist education? Or should we do... Abolish segregated scene. Let me know in the comments below. Which one should we do? Which one of these two should we do? Go to scene industry. Um, I'd rather do one of the 35 day focus, honestly. Invest in the old Polish region. Modernize old factories in Kios, Skarzysko, Radom, Sarachovic, and Ostovic. While also building new ones to strengthen our industry. Why not? Uh, what happened here? Oh, communist Italy. You're fighting. Oh, oh my god, Italy, please. Jesus Christ, Italy. What? Why did they join the Allies? Oh, because they probably guaranteed them. Oh, that's not good. There's going to be a lot of Allies here. Hopefully, the Commenter will fight the Allies, too. I don't like how many people are in the Allies. 
Yeah, that's not good for us. We need more of a balance here. You know, get the, get the war support, because you can. That's the old Polish region. Modernize congressional factories. Plan east, plan west. I don't know which way Germany's going to go. What's, what's in the German focus tree? So they went this way. I don't know which way they revived the Kaiserreich. They, I think they went that way, actually. You returned the Kaiser. Danzig for guarantees. Offers guarantee for territory. They want the territory back. We could do that one. And if we say no, can they go to war with us? They probably can. We do want to safeguard the Baltic, too. We don't want to guarantee, make them guarantee Estonia or them, so we got to take those guys out quickly. Uh, we'll see. What are we missing? More guns, fighters, planes. Yeah. We need more planes. We need more anti-air venture. Artillery's looking pretty good, too. What do we have here? <sighs> Cavalry. Yeah, we got to go that way. Invest in the old Polish region. An alliance. Cool. Modernized congressional factories. Congress Poland was the largest, most unified region of our nation and it holds the greatest potential for growth in all of Poland. By modernizing major cities like Warsaw, we'll turn Congress Poland into the industrial heart of our nation and we'll end with reading another focus, such as expand Katowice's resources. We could probably honestly use that now. Despite its relatively small size, Upper Silesia is a treasure trove of steel and aluminum. Although it would be ideal to control this entirety of Silesia, we must now, for, for now, exploit the Upper Silesian industries to the fullest, which actually you must do it. As much as I want factories, we're doing this one first. But if you enjoyed today's episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll probably see the Allies kill off the Novus Imperium Romanum. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.